A coal-based thermal power plant generates electricity by burning coal in a boiler to produce steam. The steam is then used to drive a steam turbine, which in turn drives a generator that produces electricity. Coal mining. Coal is mined from underground or open pit mines and transported to the power plant. The coal may undergo some initial processing, such as crushing and sizing, to make it suitable for combustion. Coal storage. The coal is stored in coal yards or silos near the power plant. This ensures a continuous supply of coal, even during disruptions in mining or transportation. Coal pulverization. Before being fed into the boiler, the coal is pulverized into a fine powder. This is done in a pulverizing mill, where the coal is crushed and ground to increase its surface area, facilitating efficient combustion. Combustion. The pulverized coal is blown into the boiler furnace, where it is mixed with preheated air and ignited. The combustion of coal produces a high temperature and high pressure flue gas. Boiler. The boiler is a large vessel where the water is heated using the heat energy generated by the burning coal. The heat from the flue gas is transferred to the water, converting it into high pressure steam. Steam turbine. The high pressure steam from the boiler enters the steam turbine. The steam causes the turbine blades to rotate, converting the thermal energy into mechanical energy. Generator. The rotating turbine shaft is connected to a generator, which consists of coils of wire inside a magnetic field. As the turbine spins, it causes the coils to rotate within the magnetic field, generating electricity. Cooling. After passing through the turbine, the steam is condensed back into water in a condenser. This process releases heat, which is usually transferred to a cooling system, such as cooling towers or a nearby water source, to cool the condenser and convert the steam back into water. Water treatment and circulation. The condensed water is purified and recycled back to the boiler for reuse in the steam generation process. Additional makeup water may be added to compensate for losses due to evaporation and blowdown. Emission control. Coal combustion produces various pollutants, including sulfur dioxide, SO2, nitrogen oxides, NOx, and particulate matter. To minimize the environmental impact, power plants employ various technologies, such as flue gas desulfurization FGD, systems, selective catalytic reduction SCR, and electrostatic precipitators ESPs, to control and reduce these emissions. MPH stands for Main Power House, which refers to the central location where the primary power generation and distribution equipment of a facility or power plant is housed. The MPH is responsible for generating and supplying electricity to various parts of the facility or plant. CCR stands for Central Control Room. The CCR serves as the central hub for monitoring and controlling various operational processes within a facility or plant. It is typically equipped with advanced control systems, human machine interfaces, HMIs, and a network of sensors and instruments to gather real-time data. Condenser. The condenser is a heat exchanger which removes the latent heat from exhaust steam so that it condenses and can be pumped back into the boiler. The feed system completes the cycle between boiler and turbine to enable the exhausted steam to return to the boiler as feed water. DM, demineralization, plant, also known as a water demineralization plant or a deionization plant, is a facility that removes mineral salts and impurities from water through a process called ion exchange. The primary purpose of a DM plant is to produce high quality, pure water for various industrial applications where low mineral content is required. FGD stands for Flue Gas Desulfurization, which is a technology used to remove sulfur dioxide, SO2, from the exhaust flue gases emitted by coal-fired power plants and other industrial processes. FGD systems are employed to mitigate the environmental impact of SO2 emissions, as sulfur dioxide is a major contributor to air pollution and acid rain. FOPH Fuel Oil Pump House the fuel oil pump house is responsible for maintaining the proper storage and supply of fuel oil to meet the demands of the intended applications. It typically consists of pumps, piping systems, storage tanks, valves, and other necessary equipment to facilitate the movement and distribution of fuel oil. GIS Building 
Gas Insulated Substation GIS, is a specialized facility that houses the equipment and components of a gas insulated substation. A gas insulated substation is a type of electrical substation in which the major components, such as circuit breakers, transformers, and bus bars, are enclosed in sealed chambers filled with insulating gas, typically sulfur hexafluoride SF6. CT Cooling Tower a water cooling tower is used to cool water and is a huge heat exchanger, expelling building heat into the atmosphere and returning colder water to the chiller. A water cooling tower receives warm water from a chiller. This warm water is known as condenser water because it gets heat in the condenser of the chiller. FD Fan Forced Draft Fan Forced draft fans FD, supply the air necessary for fuel combustion by pushing air through the combustion air supply system and into furnace. These fans are located at the inlet of boiler to push high-pressure fresh air into combustion chamber, where it mixes with the fuel to produce positive pressure. ID Fan Induced Draft Fan An induced draft fan, ID fan, is provided to maintain a negative pressure in the furnace by sucking the products of combustion from it with a slight positive pressure at the discharge end with a whiz the bottom of the chimney, stack. Economizer Economizers are heat exchangers that transfer the heat in the flue gas to another medium, generally the boiler feed water, although other streams are sometimes used such as makeup water. There are two types of economizers, non-condensing and condensing. Hydroburn Hydroburn separates the bottom ash from water thereby avoiding ash ponds. The dry ash that is obtained can find their applications in various other industries while the water is recirculated in the plant. Clarifier A clarifier is generally used to remove solid particulates or suspended solids from liquid for clarification and or thickening. Concentrated impurities, discharged from the bottom of the tank are known as sludge, while the particles that float to the surface of the liquid are called scum. Wagon tippler, a wagon tippler, also known as a railcar dumper or car dumper, is a mechanical device used in industries such as mining, power generation, and manufacturing to unload bulk materials, typically carried in railway wagons or cars. It is designed to tip or tilt the entire wagon, car to unload its contents, which can include coal and other bulk materials.